I want to do right now is to show you how we can draw partial ellipses in processing. Now before I dive into that though, I want to explain a little bit about uh, how we measure angles in processing because we'll be using that uh, to draw shapes. And let me remind you first that um, when we're doing processing, the way we measure our x and y coordinates are, let's assume that this point right here is our origin. That is, it has coordinate 0, 0. It's our origin. And then if we do 10, 0, the x-axis is going out in this direction, so it means we move out here 10 units, and we go 0 y units. Now, the y-axis in processing, the positive direction on the y-axis is down. If you recall, okay, the negative direction would be going up. So if I tell you the coordinates are 10, 20 in processing, we would go out on our x-axis 10 units, and we would go down 20 units, something like that. Okay, now, because our y positive direction is down, also the way we measure angles is a little bit different than the way you might have learned when you studied math. Okay, in math, typically, you measured a positive angle going in the counterclockwise direction from the origin. So let's for a moment say this is the origin, okay? And here's a line. This line would be zero degrees. If we were measuring a positive angle, we would go in this direction, around this way, so that a positive 90 degrees, we go all the way around until we hit this line right here, up and down. That would be a 90 degree angle from the x-axis, the zero degree angle. Now, we see that here, let's look at this diagram a little bit. So this is telling us how we measure our angles in processing. Okay, we can measure angles either using degrees or radians. Those are the two angle measures that we use in mathematics. Uh, for science applications, typically we use radians. And in engineering applications, typically we use degrees. So if you're building something and measuring angles in your construction, you'll probably be using degrees. Okay, now in processing, we can do either degrees or radians, but the natural angle measure for processing is in radians. Okay, so how are we going to measure angles in processing? So let's assume that Here's our x-axis going right along here. So our, and these numbers inside the circle are our degrees. So if we're looking at the line that goes from the center out to here, that is zero degrees. Now we measure a positive 10 degrees by going down in the clockwise direction. So the line going from zero out to here is 10 degrees and we measure positive angles continuing to move down like this in the clockwise direction, and this would be an angle of 90 degrees, with the line going straight down. And then as we keep going out, we get to here, this is 180 degrees. So the line going out like this is 180 degrees. Keep going up like this, this line going straight up is 270. Now, in typical, in geometry, the angle going straight up would be 90, but not how we do it in processing. I agree. I think it is a bit confusing. That's the way they did it. It sometimes happens in computer applications. For whatever reasons, the, the computer people do things in a slightly confusing way. Um, now, if you we're majoring in computer science. You see this happen all the time, for example, in how you might represent negative numbers in something like uh, 
obtuse complement arithmetic, which is a subject beyond the scope of this course. So frequently we find things uh, in, uh, in computer science that are a little bit different than the way we do it in the rest of the world. Okay, now, how about radians? Again, we measure positive angles going down. Now, we keep going down. The outside numbers here are the angle measure in radians. So as we start going down, we see the measure in radians going down, 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 like this. And this angle right here is pi over 2 radians. Now, if you remember, the number pi is about 3.14159265.4. That's, that's all that I memorized it to because back when I was doing programming all the time, that was the typical accuracy on numbers computed in a computer. And there's no reason to memorize pi beyond that typical accuracy. But right here, it's only to two decimal places. We see pi over 2, or in processing, what we call half pi, is 1.57. And we keep going around and around and around up to here. We get to pi. So this angle, the line going from the center on out, is 180 degrees, but it's also pi radians, which is 3.14 radians. And then we can keep going up. Here, this right here is uh, half pi uh, plus pi. So this is, uh, this angle right here is at 3 pi over 2, pi plus half pi, which is about uh, 4.71 radians. And then we can keep going around here. We're back to 0, and 0 is 2 pi radians. So that's my little review of how we measure angles in degrees and radians and how we measure angles in processing. And please, if you have any questions on this, uh, send me an email. Okay, let me go back up to here. Okay, now we're going to draw part of an ellipse. Now to do this, we have to define the center of the ellipse. We have to define the angle that we're drawing uh, in radians. And we have to define the uh, x axis, the x dimension on the ellipse, and the y dimension on the ellipse. So. That is what these expressions are doing. So, as I've said before, one way, particularly if you don't quite remember you know, how things are, are done, which is common if you're not doing a lot of programming, and uh, you can forget from one time to the next and you kind of have to refresh yourself. Now, one way of doing that, I said, is you can actually do an experiment in uh, in the programming uh, language. Now, so let's do that a little bit here. Uh, first, the first statement, size 480 by 120. If you recall, size is the way that we define the box over which we're going to be drawing our graphics in the output of the computer program right here. So what we want is the size of our box to go across x 480 units in the x direction and then down 120 units in the y direction. So I have my processing programming window open here. So let me just type size 480 120. Let me type that right here. Okay, so size and then our x direction dimension is going to be 480 and our y dimension is going to be 120 close parentheses and typically the way we end up processing command in a command in a command line is with a semicolon if you don't do that you can get errors okay so size 480 by 120 now I'm going to run it let's see what happens okay right here so here we're drawing the box this is the box in which we're going to be drawing our components so there we go right there I'll just close it Okay, now I'm going to draw write this statement right here. And arc is the command we use for drawing a partial ellipse. So I'm going to do arc 90, comma 60. Now what th these numbers are doing is we're saying 
This is our x and y coordinate for the center around which we're going to be drawing the arc. So we're going to be going out this way 90 and then down 60 to this point right here. 80 and 80 are the dimensions, the x and y dimensions, on our ellipse. So we're going to be doing the same. So our radius, our x radius is 80 and our y radius is 80. Now I'm going to change those so you can see exactly what's happening. And um, now I put two other numbers, 0 half pi. So comma 0 and comma h a l f underscore pi, p i. And then I'll put a semicolon again. Okay, now, it would make sense if you just weren't even quite sure that zero is the angle that we're starting with and half pi is the angle that we're ending with. So it might seem then that we're going to draw an angle going from zero radians, which is here, all the way down to half pi, which is down here. So let's just run this and see what happens. So here we go. Okay, so this generates this. Now, let's change these first two numbers to see how that changes what appears when we run the program. So let me change this from 90. Let me change it to 10. Okay, and now run. Look at that. So the x-coordinate of the starting point is right here. So indeed, these two numbers are the x and y coordinates of the center point on our ellipse drawing. 80 and 80, I said, are the x dimension and the y dimension. So let's change this 80 to 120, this first one. So if that's right, then um, I don't want I don't want to go uh, that far. Uh, then this line should increase. Let's see. Run here. Look at that. And that's exactly what happens. Now if I change the second one to 120, there, then we have that. Look at that. It's going right down here. Okay, let me change back to 80, 80. 80 and 80. Now, I uh, suggested that the angle 0 degrees is what this number represents, and half pi is this line. So let's change this. Uh, it's not 0 degrees, sorry. It's 0 radians. Let me change that to uh, instead of, uh, let me change it to one radian. Now you may not remember, but one radian is a little bit less than 60 degrees. So let me change that to one. So I'm going to go draw an arc from one radian to half pi. And half pi is 1.5 um, um, radians. So we're going one radian to about one and a half radians. Let's see what that looks like. Indeed, this is one radian, which is the angle coming down this way is one radian. And then we go out here to have pi radians. So you can see what's going on with that when we draw that. So zero. OK, now we can fill in the rest of these. OK, and let's see if these make sense. Um, we have that arc 190, 60 come down here. So I can just copy this. Copy. Paste. There we go. So 190.60 should be the center point right here. 80.80 um, again represents the, um, the x radius and the y radius. Uh, on the ellipse, and we're going to zero 
to pi plus half pi. Now 0 is this angle and pi plus half pi brings us all the way around to that angle and you can check that looking right here this angle is pi plus half pi right there okay so so that's what should give us that and of course we can check it and there we go so you see now how drawing uh, these partial ellipses works in um, in processing uh, we can now let me close that let's jump down we can draw with degrees if we choose now the way we draw with degrees is we use this and remember the natural way that processing wants to see your angles is in radians so if we want to put degrees what we do is we use this function radians and then we put the degrees in here and what this function does it will change 270 degrees into radians so let me copy this and and put it copy and then I'll put it right here there like that now it has the same center position as the line above has the same X and Y radius as the line above the same starting angle of zero radians and then we uh, go to 270 degrees let's come back up and look up here 270 degrees is the line that goes straight up and down which is the same as pi plus half pi so if I comment this we, I think we comment um, by doing that here in processing then we have indeed the exact same shape that we had previously okay so um, that's how we express our diagrams in degrees draw with degrees as we use the radians command now let me do a a different um, let's do radians let's change this from 270 let's change it to just 200 so it should go a little bit short of going completely vertical. So it goes up to 200 degrees. So 200 degrees should be about here. So we should draw from here all the way around to right there. So let's run this. And indeed, that's what happens. So that's drawing with degrees. Okay, now, so that will end this particular lesson on drawing uh, sections of ellipses and uh, thank you